Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. So today, we're gonna be looking at House of Poison, my first sponsored review, okay? Um, so House of Poison is sponsoring this review. They sent me this lovely book, right? And they said that, hey, if you guys, if you like the book, would you be able to recommend it to other people? And you know, maybe, because they have a Kickstarter right now, okay? They have a Kickstarter going, it's gonna be an art book, and it's also gonna be a tabletop game, right? So it's set in the Roman Empire, right? And it's a, it's a, it's a crazy tale um, that's illustrated in this art book. Uh, it's a narrative art book, kind of kind of like the Simon Stalin Hogg books, right? Where there's they have art, they have it's like an illustrated story, okay? Um, and the art is fantastic, guys, okay? The art is really, really good. Um, I am very astounded by the quality um, that's within this book right now. Uh, I could see that there was a lot of hard work and passion put into this and they like, you know, the art speaks for itself, man. That's all I got to say, right? Um, so what we're going to do is I'm not going to show you the entire book. Okay. I'm not going to show you the entire book, but I'm going to show you, uh, maybe bits and pieces that I really enjoy kind of like separate them. So they're like in a vacuum. So you don't really like get too much of a thing about the story, right? Um, but yeah, we're going to kind of look a little bit through the book, right? And I'll give you guys, um, you know, just a, a little preview of the book. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check out this, uh, this series, right? Um, there's going to be the link in the description. Uh, you know, hey, help the Kickstarter, Kickstarter out, guys. This book is fantastic. I think you guys would want it, right? Um, I'm thinking about getting the, the, the actual, like, board game half, right? Just to, you know, fit, finish this whole thing, right? Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to go and take a look at this right now. Okay. Um, so before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my prints and Patreon. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member, ring that bell for notification. Um, join the new discord. Okay. I started a new discord. So, you know, just join it. Um, maybe you'll have some fun with the people there, right? There's a lot of art stuff there. There's a lot of discussion about art. Um, and it's just a cool place to hang out. Okay, so check that out. And with all that said, let's get into it. Okay guys, before we go into the proper book, I wanted to read the like the synopsis that's on the back. You know what I mean? Um, it only seems appropriate so that you kind of get a, um, an idea of the tone of this book, right? Okay, so Rome shall fall. Forged by the fires of Roman oppression, young Lacusta of Gaul becomes a master poisoner, hellbent hell on revenge. When the conniving Roman elite officer Lacusta, uh, off, uh, when the conniving Roman elite offer Lacusta a chance to kill Emperor Claudius, they willing, they unwillingly let loose a force that could bring down the foundations of the empire itself. From the shadows rise a sisterhood of deadly assassins, the House of Poison. Mythify proudly presents an epic tale of vengeance, love, betrayal, and poison based on actual events from the Ro from Roman history and realized as a narrative book. Author Michael Bartell and concept artist Gal Orr bring you the breathtaking and dangerous world of first century Rome as you've never seen it before. Okay, well, there you go, dude. Rome shall fall, okay? Goodbye, Rome. See ya, okay? All right, so um, now let's get into the book. Okay, so as always, let us take a look at the cover, right? Um, this cover is lovely, okay? It tells you all you need to know, okay? Uh, there's good art, right? It's like the presentation of the book itself is re really nice. It has like this kind of marble look, right? Which is very appropriate uh, for the Roman times, right? Um, just well done, you know what I mean? Just well done. Uh, you get a, a nice um, range of characters all in the front. Um, you can see that the painting, right, the faces, the quality of the like the cloth and everything, um, it's top notch. Okay, it's really really good. Okay, uh, Galor, like, great. Your work is fantastic. All right, um, and it does everything that I want it to. Where they're like, there's no photo bashing or anything. It's just good painting, but digital. Okay, you know what I mean, like. You could, you could use whatever method you, you want in art, okay? But at the end of the day, a good painting is a good painting. You know what I mean? Good art is just good art, it's, and there's nothing like it, 
okay? You know what I mean? And this what that's what this thing has, okay? Just straight up good art, you know what I mean? Let's get into it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so they gave me this cool little note, right? Um, just for me, okay, on this kind of like parchment, this like, uh, like old style parchment. Um, it's really cool. It's a nice little addition. Um, and it really makes us feel like, like they really gave, you know, they really gave a shit. You know what I mean? They really cared about, um, uh, presenting this well and, you know, like doing a good job. Okay. And trying to be period appropriate. Right. So really nice there. There's a little Kickstarter uh, thing. If you want to scan that, I don't know. You know, whatever. I'll just put a link. Who gives a shit? All right. House of Poison, there you go. Okay, a little sickle. Yeah. See, it starts off with an intense portrait, Dune. Okay, like that's, that's just great, Dune. Because it's like, I feel like for a lot of people, the scariest thing is the face, Dune, okay? Like, when, when faces are bad, like, that's, it's over, dude, okay? But when you have a good face, you have everything, all right? And this is a good face, dude. Very nice. Yeah. And as you can see, it is completely uh, digitally painted. There is no funny business about, there's just good painting, right? It's all, like, I'm sure they used, you know, some techniques, but at the end of the day, it's just painting, okay? And I really appreciate that from an artist's perspective, you know? because I hate seeing stuff that like, it, it all feels out of place because it's all painted. It all feels like it works together, okay? And that's that's just something that I gotta, you know, shout out to, okay? For uh, Mr. Gal Orr, okay? Fantastic, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What, like, like, what else can I say, dude, okay? The quality of this figure, okay, with this cup right here, like, it's, it's like, this is like an oil painting, okay, you know what I mean, like, the use of these subtle uh, color changes, and how the background kind of just, like, fades away almost, right, that's, it's, you know what I mean, right, I, I'm not someone who, who, like, you know, like, is, it, like, it, this is, this, basically, this caters to my taste exactly, right, I'm, like, good painting, good art, dude, that's it, you know what I mean? You see all this AI, you see all this and that, and I'm like, dude, who cares, okay? At the end of the day, when you got a good painting, that's all that really matters, okay? Because it's so simple, okay? All the other stuff, makes, it's complicated. It's like, it's like, at the end of the day, dude, a good painting is a good painting. You can't really, you can't really do anything about it, you know? Okay? And then she reveals, ah! I'm actually the poisoner and i give you my my poison finger god damn dude wow yeah so as you can see dude this book is of quality okay this book uh ooh little little blemish right there okay we get rid of that one I don't know about this one. This one's part of the page. Okay. Damn. But yeah, you know, besides that little uh, thing, there's like, you can see there's a lot of great internal shots. He's fine with doing multi-figure, right? Um, he's okay with abstracting things a bit because some, dude, you need to abstract, dude, okay? Right? You can't draw everything fully detailed. You know what I mean? Some things deserve more detail than others. You know what I mean? Yeah, look, you see all these Roman soldiers. It's it's fantastic, dude. Okay. Look at this portrait. Okay. Um, look at the mature. Okay, a little bit of. You know what I mean? Right. See, that's quality, dude. It shows the tone of the story. You know what I mean? It has a narrative function. All right. Like this is this is a adult themed story okay where you know the roman empire gonna fall okay beautiful yeah 
And listen, guys, there's a lot of this book. Okay, this book is is thick. Okay, this book is dummy thick. All right, very very large book. And they got all this great art, dude. Okay, look at that. See, I look at this, and I don't have to. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to be like, oh, is there AI? Oh, is there is there like a photo bashing? You know, are there like real? It's like it's a no. It's I'm just gonna paint the thing. I'm just gonna paint it, dude. All right. I'm gonna paint it till it looks good. Done. All right. Like I'm like, thank you. That's all I ask for artists these days, dude. You know. I'm like, I'm like, like just paint it, dude. It doesn't have to be completely crazy. It just has to look good overall. It just has to look good. It just has to convey what you're trying to um, convey to the to the audience. You know. Look at that. I'm telling you, dude. This is just fantastic. Like, like every page has some art on it um and it's just really really good dude okay it's not too busy it's like it's kind of like there's parts that are looser there's parts that are tighter right it's loose when you're trying to do an environment it's tight when you're trying to do a close-up right and that's all we really need dude okay that's all we really need love it dude love this kind of stuff see this and then boom we have the close-up and you have these fantastic portraits okay um i love the shape of this this little uh uh, what do you call it? Bowl? No, not bowl. It's like a. What, what, would you, what do you call that? Um, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, it's a pot. A pot. There you go. A little pot. Um, look at the look at the quality of the faces. Okay, look at the quality of the expressions and like, um, the background, the composition. It's fantastic, dude. Okay, and you know what I love, dude? You know what I love? That they try to show as much of it on the page as possible. Okay. So it's not like um, like other things where um, you have to like they they format it in a way that's not meant for a book. Like it's like more for like a screen. You know what I mean? So it's like like ooh, you know, like the nineteen. Uh, what do you call it? Um, nineteen by ten? No. Nineteen by twenty aspect ratio. You know what I mean? And ten eighty. There you go. One of my size. Ten eighty. Right. And it's fit to the book, right? It's like I said, it's just like the St Simon Stallenhall books, right? And then you get this nice narrative along with it. Um, I haven't read it myself, so I don't know. I can't say the the quality of the the paint or, or sorry the of the writing, right? I have no idea, but I could see that like with all this effort put in, um, the story is probably going to be fantastic. Okay, right? Uh, I'm going to read it on my own so that I could just have my own little experience with it, right? This is just about the art. And showing off the book, right? Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that landscape, dude. Okay. What is there? What's more there to say, dude? Okay. All right, guys. Um, I wanted to find a nice image to end on, right? Um, because I don't want to show too much of the book, right? I want to show. Uh, there's like, there's a whole story. Um, I've only shown, like, the first, like, maybe, tenth of the book, right? Um, it's like nothing, okay? Like, this is just the beginning, and, like, you could see from the beginning that the art is gonna be fantastic, right? Um, yeah, I really recommend that you guys check out the Kickstarter, right? I know I'll be, um, showing some support myself for this Kickstarter, right? Um, depending on what, what, what's out there. But the Kickstarter should be out, uh, right now. So go ahead and check out the link. It should be up and running. Um, show some support, guys. Show some support. Um independent art and creation like this is exactly what um you want from this kind of stuff you know what i mean right from from an art book from a creator right just directly from the creator to you guys right um so yeah support some independent uh artwork some independent art books okay uh it, it really helps and in, in a way that you have no idea all right um but yeah check them out dude okay like i mean look at it look at this okay look at this stuff all right what more can I say? The art speaks for itself. The work is fantastic. The story will, I, I'm sure, will be just as good as the art, okay? Um, and I'm really excited to uh, check it out, okay? Uh, but yeah, check out the links below, right? Um, I think we could end the video here, guys. Please, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Princeton Patreon if you want to support the channel. Consider becoming a channel member. Uh, ring that bell for notification. Check out the new Discord, okay? all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. <clears throat>